Hello everyone, this is Rob Capolini, the director of VLAB. I'm going to give you a quick video on the liquidity analysis section of VLAB. You can navigate to the liquidity analysis section of VLAB by clicking on the analyses dropdown and selecting liquidity analysis. This takes you to our liquidity analysis welcome page. The first thing you see on this page is a sector breakdown of liquidity broken down by ICV sector. For each sector, you can see the level of illiquidity, the change in illiquidity, as well as a summary of the individual changes for each firm in that industry. Hovering over each of these bars will let you see what percentage of firms in that industry had a given change in illiquidity. Those that decreased by 2% or more, those that decreased between zero and 2%, those whose illiquidity increased between zero and 2%, and those whose illiquidity increased 2% or more. While viewing this page, keep in mind that we're looking at ill liquidity. A decrease in ill liquidity is like an increase in liquidity and therefore generally viewed as favorable. Whereas an increase in ill liquidity can be seen as a decrease in liquidity. Scrolling down farther on the welcome page, we see two charts, one which displays the top 10 firms ranked by absolute level of illiquidity. So these firms have the highest level of illiquidity. The table to the right of that shows the largest changes in illiquidity. At the bottom of the page, like in many welcome pages on VLAB, we can also see those illiquidity analyses that were viewed the most in the past week and past month. To view an illiquidity analysis page for a specific firm, you can use the VLAB search bar. Simply select liquidity analyses, your chosen model, and search for the firm, selecting the firm will take you to the specific illiquidity analysis page for that firm using that model. In this case, you can see we're viewing the illiquidity analysis for IBM in which liquidity for Tuesday, October 12th is predicted to increase to 14.74. And as you can see, this analysis was last updated Monday, October 11th at 9 p.m. UTC. The first thing you see is a graph of illiquidity. Using this graph, you can compare the ILIC AMEM IBM analysis with various other illiquidity measures. To include a composite illiquidity measure, other models of illiquidity for IBM, as well as illiquidity for other firms. You can clear all of the comparisons by either selecting the X on that specific time series or by clicking the clear all. You also can choose which subplot to use. In this case, we're viewing dollar volume and return. Return is in blue and dollar volume is in green. We can also choose just to view return or just dollar volume or not to view anything at all in the subplot. You can also choose to change the line style to either line or line points. Line points is most useful when viewing a very small sample of data so you can see the illiquidity for given days. You can change the key position to either outside or inside at the four respective corners. And lastly, if you'd like to copy the graph to include it in a presentation or otherwise, you can click the copy graph button 
which will display a pop-up in which you can save and download the image. Using the date select tool, you can choose custom date ranges by either using the date picker or the pre-selected time periods up to the right of the date pickers. Below the graph, you can see a summary of some key statistics for this model and this asset. To the right of the graph, we have various drop-down boxes to show the parameter estimates for this model, as well as the estimation period used to estimate those parameters. You can also view the news impact curve, which shows the impact on illiquidity of today's return on tomorrow's illiquidity. Lastly, you can view the forecast of liquidity by clicking on the liquidity forecast box. If you'd like to view the analysis pages for different models for IBM, you can do so by clicking on the respective links in the models tab. Or if you'd like to look at the analyses for other equities, you can do so by clicking on the assets tab, or again, by using the search bar.